ask you what kind of our specialty recipes you want to know more about. Hi everyone! Thanks so much for joining Yasmin and Yegi here today. We will be talking about some of the recipes. So last week, uh, we asked you what kind of our specialty recipes you want to know more about. And it was a 50-50 between skin and coat care and specialty recipes, like the sensitivities for stomach. So um, we decided to talk about both. And thank you so much for joining us. Before starting, um, just FYI, whatever that we say here doesn't mean that we are prescribing any of the food. Um, if the issue has been caused by being on a lower end food, moving to a higher end, food with better ingredients uh, would be resolving it uh, but if there is more in-depth issues and problems going on you definitely need to visit your vet and consult it with them so guys <laughs> i'm just gonna start with the go brand um go is one of the brands of pet, Co pet korean uh, pet korean <laughs> That was funny. So they have Go Now Summit and Gather, and we have uh, most of the Go recipes in this store. And we are starting to bring the Now ones in as well. They look like this. And by the way, these are the sample bags. So this is not an actual bag, but they're the sample bags that we have on the table. And we're gonna we, we, uh, we most of the time have them, and we might have just handed them to you as free samples. So that's why mm -hmm. we felt like we let's just show talk about it to Go, you. yeah, and yeah. see what they are and also we have categories on our store um mm -hmm. so we felt like maybe introduce everything to you so yeah. when you come in you know that what you need to look for exactly so i'm just gonna start with um go sensitivities limited ingredient grain free duck and that's what it says big letters on the packages um, so usually uh, when it says sensitivities on a pack of food it refers to any kind of allergies that your pet might have uh, and first thing that they take out is grains because usually the allergies are to grains and then there are single ingredients so single protein yes uh, yes so when it says duck it's just gonna be duck in the recipe and when you look at the back in the ingredients you're not gonna find like chicken fat or any kind of other protein animal protein in it yeah the, f the first thing is to to limit the ingredients uh, so they take out whatever that might be suspicious in giving dogs any breed um, uh, allergies, allergies uh, or sensitivities in their stomach so they For take those out yeah and uh, they keep one ingredient one protein uh, move forward with that um, so we have yeah. yeah we have the we have the duck one the turkey one and the lamb one in this store and um, just by the way when it says sensitivities on the pack it doesn't mean that uh, any other dog with like you know that doesn't have any allergies can't have this good for any kind of dogs in all life stages but especially uh, designed Formulated. for um, the ones with allergies so this is of the go one for the sensitivities that you asked and then it has uh, recipes for skin and coat care so this might be any problems like excessive shedding or itchiness in the skin um, if they have dandruffs this is gonna address that and the recipes that we have available in this store are the grain-free chicken one and the salmon one that is with grains so what are these ones Yasmin? so basically whatever that's good for skin and coat and if we want to put it in that category we just um, look for salmon, uh, for fish, fish oil, because fish is the source of omegas 3, 6 and 9. Mm -hmm. um, so you would see those or if it's not there, it should be uh, some sort of oil that's in there if protein is not fish. Yes, uh, so, so like this one is chicken yeah. recipe but it has extra infused omega 3s and 9s in it because like so you it's know, a sort of oil that is exactly added in, into the formula. not all the dogs like fish like my dog he doesn't like salmon or white fish in recipes so if i want to address any coat on skin issues with him i have to like go with uh, like a chicken or a lamb protein but i still have the oils in it yeah just look for those and also egg we, we see uh, recipes with egg or eggshell in it um, those would address that as well yeah. uh, so that's one thing to look in a skin and coat so. again if it says a skin and coat care and your dog has a perfect uh, skin and coat it doesn't mean that you shouldn't go for this one this is just gonna be an extra boost and keep your fairy baby um, help your fairy baby keep their 
good skin and coat health. Yeah, maintain it. Yeah, some some of you have walked in and asked for what would be better for me to buy, and I just immediately maybe ask the breed and see what's that. If it is a thick coat, it's double coated. Maybe it's a German Shepherd, it's a Malamute, it's a Golden Retriever, it's a Husky. I would say yeah, the, the coat is more vivid than that. Um, so go with the skin and coat care. Why not? Yeah, exactly. So this was for the dog ones and now um, I just want to tell you that in the store when we have sections so when you first walk in we have the um, original like the regular kind of foods that doesn't have like sensitivities or skin and coat care written on them yeah labeled on them so this means it's good for all kind of dogs and then same thing for cats it's good for all kind of cats and then when you move forward you see that we have a section for skin and coat care you're gonna see the go um the skin and coat care recipes in them but then it's still coming back to what yasmin said about fish oils and fish recipes you're gonna see as an example the origin six fish in there it doesn't say good for skin and coat care but immediately because it has six different kind of fish and their oils in it it means that it's gonna have a good boost for the skin yeah and let's coat. go through it actually let's go see what it has in it um so i want to go through the ingredients fresh whole pacific pill chart fresh whole pacific mackerel and fresh whole pacific hake fresh whole pacific flounder. flounder which is down to five percent and see we're going through the ingredients i'm i'm going to the to the fifth one and it is going down um so whole rockfish and then again it, it's a lot of fishes in here so you know it's gonna be perfect for skin and coat and, and you don't see it's anything there, yeah. else you don't see any grains in between so the second one or the first one is, is not a grain or it's not some lentils it's just fish so you know that okay it's the thing to go with i yeah, would say exactly <laughs> so this proves. was this was for the original one saying with ikana ikana has like pacifica for yeah. dogs do they still the, have it we have it yeah it's fish recipe right there it's in my eye i yeah, can yeah, see yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. or then if you want like a saskatchewan made kind of food which is going to be horizon pet food i have pulsar same thing it's a fish recipe this one is salmon recipe and then we have the legacy same brand from horizon that one is higher in protein but it's still it's with, um, with the fish with salmon salmon and white fish exactly. in that so you're gonna see those ones and then um, next uh, next section is sensitivities so after seeing the go ones you're gonna see the acana ones singles so again same thing it's a single protein we have this yeah one i want to go slow on this one because sure. um I get a lot of questions and maybe this one is not well known because they've changed the packaging. Yeah. Um, so you see it says new somewhere in here. It will say new or maybe it doesn't say. It says uh, on the website that it's new. Oh, oh I see. Uh, and so yeah, these are the single. So single protein, they stick to that one. They have taken out the grains and all you see in here, let's just go through it again together. Mm -hmm. So raw dock, after that dehydrated dock meal, Raw duck liver, whole chickpeas, whole lentils, and duck fat. So even the fat is duck fat. It doesn't say animal fat, chicken fat. Because if it's chicken fat, sometimes the dogs are allergic to chicken fat as well. So you wouldn't want to get Sometimes, rarely. This. But if, if, if you're uh, targeting chicken and want to take that out, you want to take it completely out. So even the see. oil is duck oil. So when it says duck on it, it's duck and nothing. <laughs> yeah and then after that we have dehydrated sweet potatoes and fresh peers so i'm like i want to eat that <laughs> honestly it's just it's just amazing whatever it's there and it and how limited that is it's the same thing with they have the lamb the, the lamb one and the pork one. pork one so dog pork and lamb you can easily omit anything that you feel is causing the allergy or the difficulty whatever that is through the digestion uh, and get one of these recipes and move mm. forward with it so and there's something else that we had gotten so many questions about is that allergies in puppies especially to chicken so um if you have uh, taking a look at the um, puppy section, you would notice that we have recently added now puppy food in it. Uh, and the perfect thing about now puppy food is that first it has 
um, the puppy food for all kind of puppies and then if you have a small breed puppy same recipe with the smaller kibbles for small breed puppies and then if you have a large breed puppy same recipe with larger kibbles uh, for large breed puppies and um, this one they have omitted uh, chicken and chicken fat in it completely so it's with turkey salmon and duck um, so if you have um, a puppy allergic to chicken this is the food that you might want to try to see how it goes and the good news is that after their puppyhood is done and if they like the recipe you don't want to stick to it they, you want to stick to it uh it goes to adult uh now adult and it's the same proteins turkey salmon duck and same thing for smaller breeds it has a small kibbles and for larger breeds it has large kibbles and then it has a adult recipe that is like normal size kibbles normal size. so you can just like transition like do a transition from puppyhood to adulthood um just sticking to the same and what is the food. main difference yegi we say we, we need to switch it after a while and they're not puppies why okay so puppies need higher levels of protein and fat for their growth and after usually they are like they hit the 12 months period we say that okay now you can you know go to a you know a lower uh, fat and protein content food so that's why we have the puppy foods and we have the adult food for larger breed dogs sometimes they say it's better until you know 18 months to like stick mostly. to the mostly especially to the puppy if food. you have a giant giant breed, breed, like, dog, like a great dane because they are still growing uh, but it's still it's some decisions that you can make uh, or then you can consult with your vet yeah. but normally like 12 months is where we say that you're good with puppy recipe if you want to transition to adult recipe like all life stages recipe even you can do that one yeah okay perfect yeah, yeah so <laughs> that's a story with dog uh, and dog. maybe talk a bit about the our cat, cat as well. yes so um same thing we're gonna go back to the go recipe for skin and coat care same recipes the salmon with grains and the chicken without grains same as dogs so if you have a dog and a cat and you want to address the skin and coat care you can basically get the same recipe for them but just cat and dog version yeah definitely and then um, for sensitivities of course again there are a lot of options but these ones we wanted to show because probably we have left these samples with you um, when you have walked in or asked for samples uh, this is the sensitivity limited ingredients stock recipe and, and this one is the Pollock recipe which is actually really popular i didn't know because uh, usually like i have heard from customers that no my cat doesn't like fish and they're more like a chicken kind of cat or they like lamb or white boar but this product is actually really popular so next time you're in here if your cat hasn't tried it ask for a sample we would love to give a sample to you yeah that one was definitely a go for cats because um i don't know i i haven't seen it elsewhere maybe it is i just haven't seen it but that one seems to be a winner because maybe it's a different taste mm -hmm. it, it's not that much used in different stuff yeah, in new taste. yeah exactly. so it's kind of new so they tend to like and it and then same thing for the now kitten uh again turkey sam salmon and duck so it's similar to the puppy recipe and this is for kittens if they have any allergies to chicken or anything like that this is the recipe that you want to look for and then for cats a common problem is hair balls so we have one recipe that i forgot to bring here uh it's indoor uh cat from Acana. And that's a very good recipe because it addresses three different things, uh, weight management, uh, skin and coat care, and hairball. And um, I can go grab it. That's, that's and one. And also this one. And yeah, and then um, this one is for, for indoor cats as well, if your cat is absolutely an indoor cat. And then um, another recipe that would be great for hairballs, as I said from Go, is this one as well, indoor and hairball together. And then, um, for the cats, it's the same story. If you come here, you see the skin and coat care section. We have the go ones, and beside those ones, you're gonna see um, six fish from Origin that we had in dogs for cats. And you're gonna see um, the Acana one, Pacifica, and Bountiful Catch, all with fishes. So that's gonna address any skin and coat care problems as well. Like I'm gonna show you the, uh, the Pacifica one right now. Here it is. Uh, this one is good for skin and coat care. And let's go through the ingredients. Oh yeah. So it says raw whole Pacific herring, Pacific mackerel, hake herring, 
uh, and then again mackerel and then after all the fishes it goes to beans and um, what beans yeah whole peas, oh, whole peas and whole pinto beans and then for sensitivities, uh, again, it's going to be the same story. Anything that is single protein ingredient, it's going to be uh, for allergies. Yeah, not single. I guess we just say single ingredient. It's single, single protein, protein in that. Yeah. So it's not mixed. Because when you talk to vets, what I've heard is that the most allergies come from the protein, mm -hmm. not the fat or other stuff. Uh, maybe it is allergy to grains. That's a whole different story. Uh, it depends on the dog, yeah, honestly. One dog might be allergic to chicken, only the protein, and one dog might be allergic to chicken and chicken fat. So, But that's rare. I mean, in general, when yeah. we talk, it's mostly the protein. And then this one, did you want to show this one? I just brought Oh, them. yeah, six fish, same. You see, it's for the dog and for the cat. It's going to be the same. Almost same packaging even, just the, the picture <laughs> of the cat and the picture of the dog is the way to Yeah, find and out. the weights, I guess, probably. So this is our for the dry food. I just want to did you want to... Oh, I already talked about this. This is the famous indoor entree, a canna. And the hairball. Uh, that that the hairball, exactly. So when you look here... Oh, how can I show? Hairball control. I'm going to show... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do an edit on this one for you. Yeah. So you're going to be hairball control and weight management, shiny coat and healthy skin, healthy digestion and immune system. And, what and it, it should be lower in fat. That's, that's why it says indoor. Because the cat is not getting that much exercise. Yeah, definitely. Assuming that the cat is indoor at home all day. Um, so it so has four animal protein var varieties. Chicken, herring, turkey and rabbit. Which rabbit cats I have heard that love. And uh, the protein is 37%, very high amount of protein, preferred for indoor cats. More, yeah. And uh, fat is 14%, so lower in fat as well. And then quickly just gonna uh, talk about the vet recipes as well, like the um, moist recipes. Not the, this is from vet, <laughs> but W-E-T. Um, so beside the specialties that we have for um, urinary problems in cats, we have the brand First Choice. Both this two and the um, share the chicken one. If you look at the section, uh, all the go ones, exactly like the dry food, they have labels on them. So it says a skin and coat care or sensitivities, same for both cats and dogs. So if you are feeding them um, both uh, dry food and wet food, you can pick up the same recipes, wet food version. So you're not gonna change up the proteins and give them even more sensitivities, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. What else? That's all I honestly wanted to talk about. And when you walk in here, you have questions about for anything, please just ask us. You'd be or if more you're than happy. Or if you're website, just yeah. uh, there's a chat button there, and it goes right to Facebook Messenger. Yeah, you can chat and through yeah. there. Call us, talk about recipes, just pop by. We would be more than happy to have a chat with you, give you samples for your baby to try out. And, and match. Then, yeah. if, you, if you are struggling to switch, you have something you want to switch, um, Send you us don't a picture know of it or which just one is better. Yeah, or just come ask. in. We would be more than happy to match. And if uh, there's something that we can leave the sample with you, why not? So mm -hmm, Exactly. And yeah. we didn't talk about these two. We just brought them. Uh, these are not sensitivities, though. Or a skin and coat care. So oh, I know. Oh, so we should not talk about them? <laughs> oh, we can talk about them. <laughs> this is our new recipe that we brought in. Uh, carnivore, grain-free, lamb and wild boar recipe, both for cats and dogs. It's a new taste, honestly. The ones that, like, if you ha tried, the pets tried it. They said that they loved it because it's a new taste and new mixture for and them. And what I love about this one, which is different from everything else, um, they're not sensitivities or maybe they're not a skin and coat, is the really high protein and fat content in these two. So if you have a really active cat or dog, or even if they are past that very puppyhood, they're six months or something, mm -hmm. you can switch to this one. Because some say, I have a puppy, I have an adult dog, what would be good? This should be good for you if you don't want to have different foods for them. Yeah. Uh, so you can use this one. Uh, this addresses the need that a puppy would have um, mm. or a kitty would have. So yes. that's the choice. So yeah, I talked about that as well, Yegi. Sorry. Said <laughs> any kind of questions that you had, please don't hesitate to ask us. Put in comments. Um, yeah. And yeah, we'll be happy to help. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, we'll try to find the answers for you. Exactly. 
and then let us know what you want us to talk to you about next um, and we'll make a video about it I guess <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching this video, and I um, wish that you're happy, healthy, uh, and your fairy babies are happy and healthy as well. Take so much care and hug and kiss your babies from us. <laughs>